So the Australian Network for Art and Technology, affectionately known as ANAT, has been working from our home base in Adelaide now for 30 years, creating opportunities for artists to work with science and technology. We decided it was timely to have an event that showcased their work to much broader audiences than they were currently able to reach. One of the earlier Synapse residencies, they had a symposium at the end of it called Spectra, so we decided to pick up uh, the name and run with it with some extraordinary partners here in Adelaide and, and beyond to showcase this incredible work through a number of different events, a symposium, an exhibition and a public program. And each of those have different kinds of focuses. Really, we're seeing the symposium as a, a platform, not an academic conference, even though we do have academics, and our primary partner is the University of South Australia. We're really seeing that as a platform for presenting this type of collaborative research, whether it's imagined, whether it's in train, or whether they've finished it. So really, a university is an ideal partner for that type of symposium. We're also working with Experimental Media Arts, um, a Melbourne company that has expertise in exhibition and curation and we've been working closely with them for a number of years in this space. And we we're very interested in getting them to create an exhibition of the creative outcomes of some of this work and I guess that's a more public facing component of Spectra where we're really showing 11 I think of the best artists in Australia making these astonishing artworks, everything from sound artworks to works which are engaging with scent with Antarctica. You know, this really is about giving a taste of, of the incredible work that comes out of these collaborations and, and creative work. With our public program, that's really about reaching out to the general public and saying, look, this is really awesome and you need to know about it. And so we've been incredibly fortunate. We've been working with the New Museum of Discovery, which is an incredible place. And we've also been working with the National Film and Sound Archive. Um, we've been working with the Jam Factory, with the Adelaide Film Festival. You know, it's a great environment here in Adelaide to do these types of partnerships, so we're really very lucky. There are a few organisations and people who have been doing this for a long time, and one of those is Symbiotica, absolute world leaders in what are broadly termed biological arts. So we've invited Symbiotica to put together a special workshop for Spectra. It's a two-day workshop, Biolab. It's about providing an opportunity for the 20 artists who are participating to create the lab to work with living elements in their artwork and living tissue. So when we look to the future, you know, we see Spectra being a biennial event, being able to leverage off the partnerships that we've been able to build around the event. What we really want to do, what our, what our end game is, I guess, is to communicate to the broadest possible audience the transformative potential of the arts, not just in science and technology settings, but all number of settings. <laughs>